Brig was six foot five, 300 pounds, and when he spoke, the room shook. But he was a big teddy bear and my longtime sweetheart. On the football field, a Minnesota monster is what they did call him. He was a very gregarious man. Um, he brought smiles to everybody's faces that he knew. Just a real inspirational guy. Never met a stranger and uh, an overall great dad. He started to notice his behavioral changes about eight years before he passed away. He would miss exits that he's made many times before. He would circle two and three times trying to make that exit. He wouldn't understand the wording on a menu. He became where he dropped everything. He would fumble when he spoke. That gregarious nature of him walking into a room, hey, how's it going, you know, very boisterous. He became a little more reserved and you saw him standing back and, and not greeting people right away, um, just being a little more timid. He began to have hallucinations, like people were coming to the house to kill his pets. He thought that somebody was coming to steal his guns. He took all the money out of the bank. There was times he accused me of trying to kill him. He would chase me through the house, throw bottles at me. And then when he would catch up with me, it, he would hit me in the arms. And then all of a sudden his eyes would just kind of smile like it was a fun and game thing. It wasn't his eyes, not his kind eyes that he used to have. With this disease, you cannot control um, what's going to happen, and you can't control um, when it's going to happen, and you don't know. So um, keep a lookout for signs, be educated, um, and know what's best for your loved one and you um, through all of this.